it's Holly from Twinkle and today I'm going to show you how to multiply and divide by 10, 100 and 1000 and I'll share some useful resources for you to use when teaching your child or class. This year 5 PowerPoint is a great way to remind yourself of how to do this. Think about if the digits are moving left or right. Let's start with multiplying by 10. When we multiply by 10 the number gets 10 times bigger. So if we look at this number 35,000 342. If we multiply this by 10, the digits move one space to the left, but we can't have an empty space before the decimal point, so we put a zero here as a placeholder. So 35,342 times 10 is 353,420. This works almost exactly the same with multiplying by 100, however we'll be moving our digits two spaces to the left. So 7,490 multiplied by 100 becomes 749,000. And we've put two zeros in the two leftover spaces as placeholders. Again, this is very similar to multiplying by 1,000. So we start with 1,835. If we multiply by 1,000, our number gets 1,000 times bigger. So it moves three places over to the left making it 1,835,000. There was three empty spaces this time, so we put three zeros in as placeholders. Dividing by 10, 100 and 1,000, again, is very similar. However, instead of moving digits to the left, we'll be moving them to the right. So let's start with 30,610. Dividing by 10, our digits will only move one place. The number is only getting 10 times smaller, but this time to the right. So 30,610 divided by 10 is 3,061. Dividing by 100, again our numbers will be moving to the right, but this time two places. So 886,400 divided by 100 becomes 8,864. Finally, dividing by 1,000. 6,731,000 divided by 1,000 will move three spaces over to the right and we have 6,731. Again, those zeros don't need to be there, but they do help us to understand that our digits have moved, but we do not need to write them in the answer. This PowerPoint is part of the Planet Maths Year 5 Multiplication and Division Lesson Pack, which also includes activities, which are differentiated using Twinkle's star system, starting with sentences that need to be completed using the words right or left, then moving on to completing calculations. And of course, answers are provided for each of the differentiated sheets. Place value grids are a very useful tool when multiplying and dividing by 10, 100 and 1000, as it's easy to see the digits moving left and right across the grid. For example, this place value grid is laminated so I can use a whiteboard pen and rub out my questions and answers. So I can put the question in the top grid and once the digits have moved, I can put them in the bottom grid. Also provided in this pack, is of course the lesson plan, providing you with the aim of the lesson, success criteria, as well as the full learning sequence. Key stage two children also need to be able to multiply and divide decimals as well as whole numbers by 10, 100 and 1000. This PowerPoint uses the same principle of digits moving left or right. However, the digits move into the tenths and hundredths columns, not just using zeros as placeholders. There are many other resources on the Twinkle website to support your child learning to multiply and divide by 10, 100 and 1000 such as colouring activities, where you match the question to the answers. Finally, use these Maths Mastery Challenge cards to challenge your child. On some cards, your child needs to correct the calculations that are incorrect. On other cards, there is a full Mastery Challenge where your child will need to explain how to calculate an answer, while others have a few word problems to use this skill with realistic questions. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you soon.